What's up, Shadow Mob? Uh, before we begin, I want you to push that like button. I want you to crush that subscribe button. And share this video from five crystals using grounding. Um, a little quick list. Um, but before we get into the list, I want to say if you don't know what grounding is, I'm going to leave a link in the description. Um, linking back to another video I did um, um, explaining what grounding is so you can catch up. Or if you already know what grounding is, um, stay tuned and we can progress. <clears throat> All right, the quick list, in case you don't got time to listen to the whole thing. Um, they're not in any particular order. But number one, starting off, is Apache Tears. Number two is Agate. Number three is Onyx. Number four is Hematite. Number five is Tiger Eye. All right. Um... Now, Pachi Tears, this stone comes from, uh, the name itself, Apache, comes from a darker place. Uh, one, of the, one of the fiercest um, set of warriors coming from a Native American tribe. Um, the stone, the Pachi Tears, are helpful in servicing grief, um, held in the emotional body. So if you have any type of um, bad vibes, bad feelings, um, stemming from grief, shame, or whatever, so, stuff like that, things like that. Um, it'll help clean that up, um, as well as you doing the own work to make yourself feel better in that in that sense, in that area. <clears throat> um, yeah, this stone more so is, uh, helps healing old trauma. Um, or wounds, emotional wounds, trauma, emotional wounds. It get confused a lot, but that's too big difference. Um, yeah, especially from a previous life. So if you have like a, um, you do some meditation and, or you have like recall dreams and stuff like that, um, this so you know what I'm saying? Help heal that so you can start building a new life for yourself. Um, <clears throat> a gate, number two. Um, this can be used, this can be the stabilizer. Um, with the energy of grounding. It promotes rational and logical thinking, concentration, analytical skills, and therefore helps to find practical solutions to problems. Um, the gate is a stone that cleanses your aura from negative energies, gives a safe feeling, and brings balance to your body, soul, and mind. Um, and basically, I'm trying. It's a a stone that'll help ground and heal your overall uh, existence. Not existence. Um, wellness. Your overall wellness. You know what I'm saying? That's, I think that's a better word than existence. Your overall wellness. Okay. Um, number three is Onyx. <clears throat> The black onyx stimulates uh, the earth star base chakra, which grounds the soul to the physical world. Um, black onyx brings the deepest, truest reflection of your soul. It filters the shallow perception from the people that surrounds you, and it lets them see the depths of your personality. <clears throat> Um, Onyx Stone is not for the, the, the weak or the, the beginning baby witches and, and uh, ones that's just starting out on spirituality. Um, use this at your own discretion. Let's put it like that. Uh, I want to make this video too long or too short. But this crystal right here... Um,
Yeah. Um, do your research on that. Um, yeah. That's about it. Okay. That's all I'm going to talk about on this video as far as Onyx. Moving on. What's this number three? I mean number four. Often um, used to help connect one back to the body is hematite. Hematite can also be used in um, reminding you to take care of your physical body and making sure your needs for things like food, water, and sleep are met. Um, I know when we're busy and stuff like that in life, we can get carried away and um, tend to not remember that we need food, water, and sleep. Um, that you have a big project coming up and you're not feeling tired and stuff like that. It'll, it'll help balance out your days and your nights. Um, and if you're not feeling uh, too good emotionally to where you don't want to eat or drink like that, um, using this as well as um, Apache Tears will help promote that. Um, number five, last but not least, is uh, Tiger's Eye. Tiger Eye. Tiger Eye is one of the stones that encourages us. It's one of the stones, crystals, um, of courage, of power, protection. It utilizes um, the ability to maintain our presence and power in this physical world. Tiger Eye uh, relates to the planet Mars. It balances the solar plexus heart and third eye chakra. It also stimulates psychic abilities and tunes one with higher energies. So where if you feel it like it'll stack you up and it'll help you keep your feet on the ground, help you understand that you have your feet on the ground. Um, when you use them, and stuff like manifestation, manif manifestation, manifesting. Um, if you're using that ability or the ability of attraction, um, manifesting and attraction is two different things, um, as well as aligning. They're all three, utilizing the, your psychic abilities to um, put out and reap what you sow or um, bring in. Um, through intention and stuff like that, this is one of those stones that I hope you get um, balanced out and grounded as well as build you up to where um, spiritually and mentally and emotionally you can start to feel like a giant or align yourself with that um, trajectory of what you're looking for so that way it can't miss you. You won't get it regardless depending on how fast it's moving towards you or how fast you're moving towards it. So, um, yeah, that's five crystals um, using the grounding. As far as this video, <laughs> that's that video. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, you're going to find out what I got to say. And this is what I got to say, if you haven't heard it already. Maybe you need to hear it again. Um... We don't own anything in this planet, on this earth. Every circumstance and situation is temporary. I'm saying we are more than what we can ever imagine we are. We are more than what we think we are. We are more than what we can say we are. We are more than what the world feel, understand, and imagine we are. The people of the world, it takes everybody in the world with different words to describe you. And that's still not enough. People are still being born, finding new ways to tell you what you are. You're more than that. Okay? Well, enough being said. I know you got better things to do. So before you leave, uh, go ahead and crush that like button. Go ahead and crush that uh, subscribe button. Push that share button. Make sure your friends can know about it. Somebody gonna need the information in case you don't. Somebody may need may need it just as much as you do. All right, Kai Frost.
signing off. Stay tuned to the next video.